I'm Lee Ellen Phelps. I'm the uh, Thermal Systems Manager for the Daniel K. Inouye Solar Telescope. I am in charge of all of the thermal systems for the Daniel K. Inouye Solar Telescope. We are in a construction mode. Uh, we're building the world's largest solar telescope on Haleakala on the island of Maui. We have a number of applications where we need to cool things at a very precise steady state temperature. And then we also have a couple of closed loops where we are actually very precisely tracking whatever ambient temperature happens to be at that given time. Well, the pumps are the heart of the distribution systems that we use to manage the thermal environment within, within the observatory. If this pump did not do its job, um, temperatures would rise and our global interlock system would shut down the whole facility. The critical elements for this pump's performance are being able to handle the temperature regime that we're, we're um, operating in. It's um, to for reliability and maintainability, uh, and that it meets the pressure and flow requirements of the process. We are creating performance curves. As part of the submittal process, we were given um, predicted performance curves, and um, we're taking data to match it and create and verify that the pump performs as advertised. They specify Nancy dimensional pumps. Uh, they're, pump, they're pumping a thermal uh, fluid, so the, the requirements of the pump were pretty straightforward. They required uh, performance testing for the pumps uh, because they're critical pumps for the process of the telescope. And so she sent the specification and uh, everything was pretty well laid out. Well, years ago when I worked with them, they had a reputation for quality and also uh, availability. Quick turnaround, which uh, this is a particular pump where that's uh, critical to have equipment that's on the shelf and ready to go. This uh, project was uh, not a small job. There was 26 pumps, so for them to have that inventory on the shelf and ready to put this thing together in a matter of uh, four weeks or less was to me pretty phenomenal. If by chance I end up with another project, of course, I would consider Griswold pumps again. ESG, where innovation flows.